yourself. The audio sounds pretty good, my voice sounds pretty terrible. <coughs> So what I'm showing here is removing one of the cylinder heads from the center main engine, inline six Bergen from about 1986. Pretty interesting to work on these old things. Constantly setting up and moving. Got these little tiny quarter ton chain falls that are really easy to move. So just trade them from spot to spot. Move the cylinder head over the back of the engine in between the generator and then down behind the center main and the port engine back there there's a opening into the fish hold right there so you send it through the opening and then onto a pallet down below later on in the video i'll show me moving the pallet across the fish hold to where the crane can pick it up get it off the boat so we can get them rebuilt this part here something let go on the camshaft at full speed ended up cracking a corner of the block so they had to replace the entire generator the that's the starboard caterpillar they use it as a generator for all sorts of different systems on the boat there's the you can also see that that turquoise color that's the starboard bergen inline eight cylinder engine over there it didn't need any service this year but i just set the camera up because the guys wanted to see a time lapse of what it looked like at one point there were up to 30 different people working on putting up the chain falls grabbing ladders moving them around working the chain falls giving somebody else a break those things are no joke to to work a chain fall all day it gets pretty tiring pretty fast. It was really fun to watch them. It took, it took about three days to get the old engine off the boat and about five days to get the new engine in because they brought it in completely assembled. You can see the foundation and the oil pan that they left in place. They end up removing that later. The goal is to get it through here, down to here, and then the crane will take it the rest of the way. So they got the hard part, now they just got to get it through the fish holes. Pretty impressive. Okay, and here she is, the, the Sea Freeze Alaska, the 300 foot Fisher processor trawler that we just pulled that caterpillar off of. So I came back from lunch and they got the cat. They moved it with two pallet jacks, so that's a pretty good indicator of how long it is. I can reach out six feet with my arms. So this thing's it's really only a bit longer than six feet. It's pretty crazy how how small and compact of a package this this V12 is not that big. Let's see here. We'll pull this down. And I'll show you guys the camshaft. Oh man. The camshaft let go. And you can see the cracks in the block right here. It toasted the block. And just to tell you like a little bit about the price, I heard that they got a used block to or a used motor to replace this for a hundred and ninety thousand dollars so these things are no joke expensive and this here is the other caterpillar engine fully assembled so you get an idea of what it looks like 
when it's not completely stripped down. Let me see here. Show ya. I'm almost six feet tall. This bad boy is. Yeah, mounted on the floor and it's dang near six feet tall. It's pretty crazy how how big these things are. And so the, the new engine that they got to replace it is a more modern version of this. I guess it more, has more electronics on it, and this is more mechanically controlled than electronically controlled. It'll be interesting to see how it looks like once they get the new one all installed. Well, we got Otis out here to unload my gang box for the boat. I didn't unlock my door. My itty bitty baby gang box. I'm gonna get the, get it on the boat. Then I'll have a secure place to keep all my tools. Okay, I thought I'd show you this trick that someone taught me because I really like this one. You ever been faced with this metal banding and you can't get it off and you don't have you don't have pliers that'll cut through it or cutters, whatever. So you just tighten the crescent wrench all the way down on there and put them side by side. Oops. First, you gotta know how to adjust it properly. Side by side, push it, done. Simple as that.